Welcome back to Ambitious Nature, and today we will be going over adjustment layers and why you need them. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So adjustment layers, it's the best way for me to describe it is it's like adding on um, like a gel to a light. Like you can have multiple lights and add on like a green gel or a red gel and it changes the color of the entire, you know, light or the room or whatever you have it placed to. Um, so that's essentially what we're doing with the adjustment layer, but it gets a lot more technical. Um, but this is like, to me, the quickest way to color grade. So I'll just show you what I mean by that. Um, I will go into, let's go to the no grade. Um, this is what my footage looks like uh, without any edits. This is just a basic, like raw, um, you know, video. Um, and so what I would do is go into your, I believe it's in effects right here. And this is your adjustment clip. It's in Adobe, it's called adjustment layer. Same thing, same difference. Um, and you just want to drag it onto your timeline and then select it. And now with this adjustment clip, you can do a lot of different things. Uh, but I'll just jump into something really, really quick for it, uh, which is what I started off using it as. Uh, but what I wanna do is go into my color tab, which is right here. I select color. Uh, but with the uh, color tab, I, for me, I like to have on timelines, which allows me to see where it is on my timeline. Obviously this is very linear. Um, but I can see clearly that I am selecting the adjustment clip and it is the right adjustment clip if you have multiples. And so all I'm going to do is, uh, I won't cheat and do it, I'll play around with this a little bit, but I can drag it down and you'll see it adjusting. Actually, let me make this, let me turn this off real quick so you can see because I know which one it is, but. Uh, yeah, so I can adjust my brightness, my darkness, and this will happen over every single thing. So let's say, let's get this a little bit darker. I'm just gonna play around with it. Let me add a little bit of saturation there, bring some color, and let's say a pop of contrast. Very, very quick grade. Um, now if I go back into this, this is what it looks like without the adjustment clip. Let me make this a little bit bigger so you can see. Uh, but this is without the adjustment clip, this is with it on. Without, with on. Or I guess on, goodness gracious. Editing videos, guys, always mistakes. <laughs> but. Um, now what's cool with the adjustment clip is, let's say I, I want to have a quick grade on multiple clips and send it right back to a director, right back to a DP, or to your best friend, wherever it is. Let's say you want to get this out really, really quick. With that quick edit, I can now click over this clip right here. See how it's color graded? Let me zoom in a little bit, and I'm using Alt in my scroll wheel to uh, extend it. Let's drag it out over this entire thing. And now, all of my video clips will have that exact same adjustment. Hence, adjustment layer, which they don't call it that in DaVinci, and I don't know why. But um, but yeah, you, you can highlight this and place it over it. And as you can tell, if I turn it off, there it is without it, there it is with it on. Really, really quick, you can do a lot of things with this, but this is the main thing uh, that I used to use it for, and that is quick, quick color grades, and it does not damage, as you can see, your original footage. All of that is the same. All you're doing is literally just a clip, so. Very quick video. This is adjustment layers and why you should use them, or at least one of the reasons you should use them. And with that, that's it. I'll see you guys on the next video.